Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I will be reviewing the 2022 film Corsage. Corsage is directed and written by Marie Kritzer and stars Vicky Kreeps, Colin Morgan, Ivana Urban, Alma Hassan and Tamas Langiel. This is a Corsage movie review and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Corsage film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Corsage movie review. Vicky Kreeps portrays Empress Elizabeth of Austria in filmmaker Marie Kreutzer's fascinating and deep character study, Corsage. In this picture, which traces Elizabeth's life at age 40 and beyond, there is an unusually unhealthy fascination with outer appearances, which help project the proper expectations that a society may have. This movie is about a woman who could be deemed a narcissist having something of a midlife crisis, but there's also an underlying desire for personal fulfillment that seems to have a great sense of urgency to the film's main character. Kreutzer's new film is full of heavy-handed symbolism and is, artistically speaking, a good film, but it would fall apart if Creep's performance didn't navigate the ultimate path it decides to take. Creeps is astonishing in her best film work to date in a role that will keep audiences intrigued and questioning what matters most for Elizabeth in her life. Florian Takemeister is the emperor in the film. Franz Josef and Takemeister certainly has a true grasp on his pivotal role here, as his character's actions help make Elizabeth become the person she turns into during the course of the movie. Elizabeth sort of goes against her husband's wishes at times in the picture, while at others, she seems somewhat fond of him. Appearances are everything in this world, and Elizabeth's weight is pivotal to maintaining her image, so as she is dressed, it is imperative that she has attention paid to all the minute details that many people who are not of her status would take for granted. Katharina Lorenz is fine in the role of Marie, who becomes somewhat intrigued by Elizabeth, who may be an enigma to Marie, but creates a wants us as audience members to try and understand the character of Elizabeth. While based on a real-life person, Creeps plays her role creatively, and she takes risks in this film some other actresses may have been afraid to take on. Set in 1877 initially, this film doesn't let its time period hold it back from being raw with many modern-day touches. There is music that is incorporated into the film that comes from more contemporary times, and it is appropriately integrated into the scenes it is used in. This is not a straight biographical film and takes lenience and creative liberties in the events and characters it portrays. Think of some of the creativity of Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette and imagine that imagination used towards a slightly better movie. Creep's part here is not always a glamorous role. It's at times a rather heartbreaking one. The fact that the real Elizabeth lived quite a bit after being 40 makes the part all the most interesting. Creeps makes this movie work because of the uncertainty as to what direction Elizabeth, also known as Sissy, will take in her life. She makes appearances at functions, fences, and rides horses, but she's walking on the edge of a sharp knife. We never know what kind of decisions she'll make next, and watching her becomes an exercise in itself which could keep viewers captivated. Elizabeth sometimes seems to be hanging on by a thin thread, but she has more of herself together at times than she'd probably like to believe, even when cutting off a lot of her hair which throws off the balance of the image she presents to society. While Corsage is expertly acted by creeps, it is also a little bit slight. It has plenty of complex themes, but these scenes work better individually than as a whole. It always feels that some of the edginess of the main character is manufactured for dramatic purposes, especially considering what the history books say in regards to her existence. Still though, Creeps rises above the flaws of the movie as Elizabeth rebels against the norms of society because A, she can get away with it once in a while, and B, she doesn't care as much about being perfect anymore. It's almost like her age has given her the justification to take life a little bit less intensely while holding on to the ideals of somewhat maintaining the image she needs to project. We don't truly understand all the choices Elizabeth makes in this movie, because we'd have to be inside of the character's mind to be able to grasp what is truly intended by the decisions she makes. 
she was definitely a woman ahead of her time who had to confine to the world she was presented with. Having kids certainly runs its course, and when we first meet Elizabeth, we're not certain what she's expecting at her current age. She sometimes feels like a woman with too much free time on her hands. The rest of the cast is headed by a solid performance from Jean Werner as Elizabeth's sister. Creeps and Werner are like a well-oiled machine, making some magical moments in a movie which sometimes has a split personality, but with good reason. Elizabeth and Franz Josef's interactions feel mechanical at times, and are, at others, very well defined. But Creeps keeps the movie moving forward towards a conclusion that ultimately rises Corsage to the level it needed to be at to keep it fresh. Creeps makes her role come to life in a movie that could have been more, but is compelling enough as it is to warrant a definite recommendation. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Corsage movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. If you would like to get Filmbook's articles delivered to your inbox, sign up for our daily newsletter in the description at film-book.com. Thank you for viewing and you can watch one of these reviews next.